Hi, I'm Brian with the Garmin Experimental Aviation Team, and today I'm going to talk to you about some of the G3X Touch navigation functions, including Direct2 Navigation and Flight Planning. Direct2 Navigation is one of the easiest ways you can use the system to get from point A to point B. Simply touch the location on the moving map where you want to go, press the dedicated Direct2 key, and the Direct2 Activate button is available in the bottom right hand corner. One of the other really nice things that you can do using this Direct2 menu is you can manually enter a waypoint here if you've got a different destination in mind. It also brings up your bearing, distance, and course to that waypoint, or I can pull up a waypoint information page. Very quick and easy to access. The Direct2 function also ties into what we call our best glide airport algorithm. It's always running in the background trying to select a best airport to glide to if you should need it. From the nearest airports menu, highlight that, hit the Direct2 activate button, and you're off and going. Another nice thing about the G3X Touch flight planning capabilities is the ability to graphically edit right from the touch screen. From the dedicated map page, simply press the menu key, graphically edit the flight plan, and now I can grab onto my current route and rubber, rubber band around airspace or weather. In this case, I'm just going to insert another waypoint. I can also add additional waypoints to the end of the flight plan simply by connecting the dots. Once I'm done editing it, I simply press the save key in the bottom right hand corner, and now all those waypoints are added to my active flight plan, which I can review from the dedicated flight plan menu. So there's a quick overview of how you would use the G3X Touch to navigate using Direct2 and the flight planning function.